Deep within the heart of a small town stood an old weathered library. Its grand facade loomed over the cobblestone streets, evoking a sense of both awe and intrigue. The library had been a pillar of knowledge for generations, but few knew of the hidden secrets that lay within its walls. With its dimly lit corridors and creaking wooden floors, the library held an air of mystery, as if it whispered forgotten tales to those who dared to listen. It was a place where time seemed to stand still, where the past mingled with the present, and where the spirits of long-gone authors still lingered. Emily, a young and passionate librarian, spent her days tending to the shelves, organizing books, and assisting patrons. She had always been drawn to the written word and had developed a particular interest in the forgotten authors of the library. While others overlooked their works, Emily saw them as hidden treasures waiting to be discovered. She longed to unravel the secrets that lay within the pages of these neglected books to bring their forgotten stories back to life. One fateful day, as Emily was exploring the library's labyrinthine basement, she stumbled upon a hidden door. With cautious curiosity, she pushed it open, revealing a hidden section filled with dusty shelves and cobweb-covered tomes. As she ran her fingers along the spines, her eyes fell upon one particular author's name, Samuel Blackwood. It was a name she had never encountered before, and yet there was an inexplicable pull that drew her towards his books. She reached out and plucked one from the shelf, its pages yellowed with age, and began to read. With each passing page, Emily found herself entangled in Samuel Blackwood's macabre stories. His words wove a web of darkness that ensnared her mind and awakened a fascination she had never known. His tales spoke of haunted houses, vengeful spirits, and unspeakable horrors lurking in the shadows. They left her with a chill down her spine and a lingering unease. Yet despite the darkness that permeated his stories, there was an undeniable brilliance in Blackwood's writing that left Emily hungry for more. She became consumed by his works, spending countless hours engrossed in his twisted imaginings, unable to tear herself away. As Emily delved deeper into the world of Samuel Blackwood, the library itself seemed to come alive. Books toppled off shelves when no one was around, their pages fluttering as if breathed upon by an unseen force. Whispers echoed through the corridors, faint voices that spoke of forgotten secrets. And in the corners of her vision, Emily caught glimpses of fleeting shadows, disappearing as soon as she turned her gaze. It was as if the library had become a stage for a haunting performance, and Samuel Blackwood's restless spirit was the puppeteer pulling the strings. Emily's deepening obsession with Samuel Blackwood did not go unnoticed by her colleagues. They too began to experience strange occurrences within the library's walls. Books would fly off shelves as they passed by, and whispers would follow them as they walked down the aisles. However, they attributed these incidents to mere coincidences or tricks of the mind. They brushed off the eerie phenomena, dismissing them as products of an overactive imagination. Little did they know that the spirit of Samuel Blackwood had awakened, hungry for vengeance against those who had forgotten his literary legacy. Driven by her insatiable curiosity, Emily delved into the forgotten archives and uncovered a disturbing secret about Samuel Blackwood. He had lived a tragic life, marked by sorrow and despair. His tales of horror mirrored the darkness that had surrounded him. As she pieced together the fragments of his life, Emily learned of his mysterious disappearance, a vanishing that had left his works buried in obscurity for decades. She couldn't help but wonder if his spirit, tormented by neglect, was now seeking retribution from those who had forsaken him. With each passing day, the library grew more suffused with an otherworldly presence. The air turned heavy with an oppressive energy, and the once familiar surroundings became a labyrinth of fear. It was then that Emily realized the truth. Samuel Blackwood's spirit had awakened, and his vengeful wrath was directed towards those who had forgotten his work. He sought to make them pay for their indifference, to etch his name into their nightmares, and ensure that he would never be forgotten again. Fear permeated the library's every nook and cranny as Emily and her colleagues found themselves trapped in a nightmarish battle 
against the malevolent spirit of Samuel Blackwood. Books flew through the air, narrowly missing their heads, while spectral figures emerged from the shadows, their eyes burning with an unholy fire. The once serene sanctuary of knowledge had transformed into a battleground, and the echoes of screams and desperate pleas for mercy filled the air. They realized that their only hope for survival was to confront the spirit head-on. Desperate for a solution, Emily reached out to Professor Donovan, a renowned paranormal investigator. With his deep knowledge of the supernatural, he had dedicated his life to unraveling the mysteries of the unseen. As Emily shared her harrowing experiences, Professor Donovan's eyes widened with understanding. He revealed the dark history of the library, recounting tales of a forgotten curse and the tormented souls that haunted its halls. Together, they embarked on a quest to uncover the truth behind Samuel Blackwood's spirit and find a way to banish it from the library once and for all. Armed with Professor Donovan's guidance and a newfound determination, Emily and her colleagues embarked on a perilous mission to banish Samuel Blackwood's vengeful spirit. They gathered ancient artifacts, performed intricate rituals, and chanted incantations in hopes of restoring peace to the library. Each step they took was fraught with danger as the spirit fought back with a ferocity that shook them to their core. But they pressed on, their belief in the power of light and knowledge fueling their resolve. As the battle raged on, the library became a battleground of clashing energies. The air crackled with malevolence, and the very foundations of the building trembled under the weight of the supernatural clash. The spirit of Samuel Blackwood unleashed its full wrath, manifesting as a swirling vortex of darkness and despair. But Emily and her allies stood firm, wielding their newfound knowledge and resilience against the encroaching darkness. It was a battle between the forces of good and evil, a clash that would determine the fate of the library and its inhabitants. In the face of overwhelming odds, Emily and her colleagues summoned every ounce of courage and knowledge they possessed. They chanted ancient verses, brandished sacred relics, and called upon the spirits of benevolence to aid them in their quest. Fear threatened to consume them, but they refused to succumb. Together, they formed a circle of strength, their collective wills intertwining to create a barrier of light that pushed back against the encroaching darkness. They were determined to protect themselves and the library from the clutches of Samuel Blackwood's vengeful spirit. In a final act of desperation, Emily and Professor Donovan devised a plan to trap the vengeful spirit of Samuel Blackwood. With intricate precision and unwavering focus, they lured the spirit into a sacred vessel, sealing it away from the mortal realm. As the vessel closed, the library trembled one last time, as if signing in relief. The malevolent presence dissipated, replaced by an eerie calm. Peace was restored to the library, and the forgotten authors within its walls could finally rest in tranquility. As time passed, the library returned to its serene and quiet state. The shelves stood tall and proud, and the whispers in the corridors faded into mere echoes. Emily and her colleagues resumed their duties, forever changed by the ordeal they had faced. The memory of the haunting lingered as a cautionary tale, a reminder of the power of words and the importance of acknowledging the forgotten voices of the past. And as visitors stepped into the library, they couldn't help but feel a sense of reverence, knowing that within those walls, the spirits of forgotten authors continued to whisper their stories to those who were willing to listen. Thank you for watching Whispering Tales TV. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join our community of fellow thrill seekers. Get ready for spine-tingling stories that will keep you up at night. Let the whispering tales begin.